Hello everyone. So recently, Unity quietly released its own native hand tracking API. It's called XR Hands. It's currently available for download as an experimental pre-release package, so it's not recommended for use in production. I became aware of the XR Hands package through this tweet by Eric Preventure. Eric provides some instructions on how to get started with this package. He states that it works with OpenXR, and so I was keen to try it out with my MetaQuest 2. And it did indeed work as advertised. What follows is a short setup tutorial for XR Hands, which will take you through the steps outlined in Eric's tweet thread. I will be using the Quest 2 headset in this tutorial. Let's get started. First of all, go to Unity Hub and create a 3D Universal Render Pipeline project. Use Unity Editor version 2021.2 or above. Switch the project to the Android platform. Set up the project so that it is using the XR Interaction Toolkit with the OpenXR plugin. Also, make sure that your project is optimised for MetaQuest 2 development. You will then need to create a scene which includes at least a directional light and importantly, an XR Origin object that has been correctly configured. If you are unsure about any of these steps, then please take a look at my tutorial series called Introduction to Unity's XR Interaction Toolkit. You will find a link to the tutorial series playlist in the description. If you complete the tutorial series up to the end of part 2, you will have the project set up and ready to start integrating the XR Hands system. And so, I will continue this tutorial assuming that you have reached this point. Before we import XR Hands, we will need to manually bump up the OpenXR version to 1.6.0. To do this, we will need to edit the project's manifest file. Open your Unity project folder and within it you should find another folder called Packages. Open this and inside you should find a file called manifest.json. This is the file that we need to edit. Open it in a text editor. Now find the line with the key named com.unity.xr.openxr. Here we need to edit the version number to read 1.6.0. Save the file. Return to the project in the Unity editor. This should automatically initiate a re-import of the OpenXR package. Once this has completed, an OpenXR project validation window should pop up, alerting you to a couple of issues. Click the Fix All button and these issues should automatically be resolved for you. Once the issues have cleared, close the OpenXR project validation window. Next, we need to use the Project Manager. Select Window from the top menu and then Project Manager. Click the cog icon in the top right of the Project Manager window and select Advanced Project Settings from the drop-down menu. The Project Settings window will appear, with the Package Manager section selected. Tick the Enable Pre-release Packages checkbox. Close Project Settings. In the Package Manager, click on the plus symbol in the top left corner of the window. From the drop-down menu, select Add Packages by Name. A text box will appear, Enter the name com.unity.xr.hands. Click the Add button. The Package Manager will now import the XR Hands package into your project. While the XR Hands page is selected, expand the Samples menu. Notice that there is a Hand Visualizer sample available. Since the core XR Hands package does not include a visualizer, we are going to need it. Click the Adjacent Import button. Once the Hand Visualizer has finished importing, close the Package Manager. Notice that a Hand Visualizer folder has been added to your project. OK, let's reopen the Project Settings window. From the top menu bar, click on Edit and then Project Settings. Select the XR Plugin Management section, make sure OpenXR is selected. In the left sidebar, make sure XR Plugin Management is expanded. Underneath it, you should see an OpenXR subsection. Click on this. The OpenXR settings page should now be in focus. Go to the section titled OpenXR Feature Groups. Here, 
make sure the top three checkboxes are all ticked, namely the hand tracking subsystem, meta hand tracking aim, and meta quest support. Close the project settings window. Let's get back to our scene, which should have the standard XR origin object within it. In the hierarchy view, expand the XR origin. Inside, you will see a camera offset. This, in turn, contains a left hand controller and a right hand controller object. Since we want to use hand tracking, let's delete these controllers from the XR origin. In place of the controllers, we want to create a hand visualizer as a child of the camera offset. In the hierarchy view, right click on the camera offset to bring up the context menu. From the menu, select create empty. This will create an empty game object underneath the main camera. Rename the empty game object to hand visualizer. Make sure its position and rotation values are all set to zero. Keep this new hand visualizer object selected. Go down to the project assets panel and make sure the samples folder is expanded. Inside you will find the XR hands folder. Make sure this is fully expanded out also. Within the hand visualizer folder is a scripts folder. Click on this. You should now see a hand visualizer script. Add the hand visualizer script to the hand visualizer game object by dragging it onto the inspector panel. Now all that remains is for us to configure this hand visualizer component and we will be all set. Return to the project assets panel and from within the hand visualizer folder, open the models folder. Notice the left hand and right hand models. Drag these into the corresponding slots on the hand visualizer component. Tick the draw meshes checkbox. Go back to the project assets panel and from within the hand visualizer folder, select the prefabs folder. Now drag the joint prefab to the debug draw prefab slot on the hand visualizer component and drag the velocity prefab to the velocity prefab slot. Set the velocity type to none. Lastly, the hand visualizer component needs a reference to the XR origin game object in the scene. Go to the hierarchy view and drag the root of the XR origin object into the first slot on the hand visualizer, the slot labeled origin. And we are done. Before we try out our XR hands app, make sure that hand tracking is turned on in your headset. You can check this from MetaQuest Home by selecting settings from your home menu and going to the movement tracking section. Here you can see a hand tracking toggle. Make sure it's switched on. OK, so back in Unity, make sure you save your work and then go ahead and kick off a build. Once the APK has been deployed, put on your headset. Your XR Hands app should launch and you should see something like this. You should be able to see your virtual hands mimicking what your real hands are doing. Anyway, this has just been a quick look at the XR Hands pre-release. I will probably do a more in-depth tutorial once the official release is available. However, if you want to dig into this further, then I recommend looking at Unity's XR Hands documentation. I've put a link to this in the description. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. But for now, goodbye and happy questing.